Oh shit, here we go again. Chupa in it, bitch. Gotti got that name from John Gotti, the famous mafioso. He was about his business. Anything he touched, it moved. And that's what I'm doing in this business and event planning. We moving, baby. True. For people who don't know, I am a recent graduate of William Peace University, Peace College, where you at, baby? I also am a project manager. I work for the state of North Carolina, and I am an event coordinator for Truth. My name is Cordell. Been out here in North Carolina for a couple years now. Uh, moved here from San Diego, California. Born in Maryland, Navy brat, so I've been everywhere. But uh, California is definitely home for me. But North Carolina is not bad. I'm at the love of my life out here, so I don't know nothing bad to say about Carolina ever. And then you know, uh, I have some great friends, and a lot of my family is out here too. So, and then I'm with the Truth Team. You know, I met most of them out here um, through Corey. I'm Quentin Cooper, aka QC, originally from Oxford, North Carolina, exit 204. Born and raised there, grew up, you know, small town, branched out. I actually attend North Carolina Central University, uh, studying marketing. And right now I am a client representative for a marketing firm, and I'm also a entrepreneur, event planner, and uh, promotional uh, manager. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is uh, Demarcus Fairley. That was, that's my birth name, anyway. I was born and raised in Oxford, North Carolina. I uh, kind of like started like moving towards the Raleigh area once a close friend of mine had, you know, became close to it, and we just actually just fell in love with it. And that's what we stuck with. Nope. Oh, I know it. N O W I E. Never oppose wisdom. It elevates. It was actually a name given to me by a good friend of mine, my beloved brother um, in Brooklyn. From the Bronx, be like stand up. I just moved out here about like a year ago and I've been rocking ever since. Uh see, more or less I'm a property manager for Arbar, one of our venue spaces. I am also a director at an after school program. Um my teenagers are my hearts. Um my little young militants be wild. My position in truth is very important. <clears throat> Um, aside from being the event coordinator, I am the organizer of the team. I make sure that everything we touch and everything we do is organized. I make sure that our budgets are lined up correctly. Being a good communicator, especially if you're part of a team, or even if you're doing it by yourself, you're an army of one, you still have to communicate with people on the daily um, for a variety of things. Not only a good communicator, but an effective communicator, because some people talk and say a whole lot of nothing. Being an effective communicator is probably the number one skill. Number two is um, being organized. Even if you are not the kind of person who has everything uh, planned down to a T, you still need to have some semblance of organization about yourself because everything in chaos is definitely not good for the business. Number three, I would definitely have to say network. Being able to network is, especially if you're an event planner, I mean, you don't have all the connections. You know, sometimes you have a connection that has a connection has a connection or you know somebody who could do something with you or who you can utilize your services and you guys can benefit from each other so being a uh, an effective networker is probably number three not to brag or anything like that but i don't believe that truth has had one bad event since the beginning um last year we had our very first one uh the new year's eve soil right um now we might not have had the numbers that we wanted to see but that's going to be with any type of business or any uh, promotional team that you start it takes time to grow um but to really answer the question a, a bad event or something you know that would make an event bad would be you know just lack of communication um i, I like being a floater it's, it's it's like two of us who do the floater roles and i like doing that um, the reason why is because um, everybody in our group is good at what they're doing. I'm just going to show love to my members right now. Like, when it comes to Nina, she is so good at being, like, a host. Like, she is one of the good hosts. QC, he is very good at being business-wise. He take care of most of the business-wise stuff. Corey, he is he is good at what he do. He do the photography. He get people involved. And I feel like he could be part of a host, too. And Cordell, he is one of the best behind-the-scene guys. I'm not trying to be funny, like... He stay behind the scenes, but he are he is good at what he do. Me, I'm I'm a floater. I'm Mr. Funny Guy. I like to make people laugh. I like to, you know, get involved and I like to watch my surroundings. It's just something I like to do. 17, 18, one of my relatives, my cousins, we put a party event together and we started rocking ever since. It was a, actually across the street from the 4040. We booked what is it, the, the fourth floor. We had the fourth floor of the loft and it was ours. I was actually down south and I would send money up to New York. Uh, the day, like two days before the event, I would come to New York and partake in it. And uh, we were rocking 
a little while. It's going to start off with just getting all the team members together to ha sit down and have a meeting. And that's a, a process in itself, you know, to plan when are we going to meet, um, what topics are we going to discuss during our meeting, putting together an itinerary for the meeting, and just proceeding from there. One thing that sets Truth apart from other promo teams is not we're not all about the dollar. Let's be real. Everyone wants to make money. As entrepreneurs, that is the main goal. But first, Truth puts the community together. We bring our people together, and we put on events that celebrate black and brown cultures. We are all about unity, and we are all about expressing and promoting your truth. Truth is actually already, like, it's, it's not just one person. It's five of us. And, um... I think the biggest thing with us is is that we all have to be on tune to things. Like you can't just you can't you can't just like um, say okay I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna let everybody else do everything. We have to come together and be like okay we gotta know what we gonna do how we gonna do it. Basically you can't half ash it. Let's just be honest about it. You can't you can't um, Literally just be like, okay, well, you do this, I'm going to do this, and we just going to call it like that. You have to have it together. Like, okay, everybody know what they're doing. Let's have a good night. Let's go. You know, like that. You want to be in tune with it. I'm a talker. I'm a smooth talker. Not to the point where I'm being too aggressive, where I'm not trustworthy. I know how to come off. Uh, I'm very aggressive. It comes from a confident place. When I speak, I speak, I speak with a lot of conviction, and people feel, they, people pick up on that. They buy into my brand as well as social media, talking, networking. Um, I believe in attacking the field, the field that, I, that I'm, I'm going for. In regards to truth, I would say my all-time favorite, favorite event that we've done thus far is our open mic. Um, it was a hit. We had over 22 performers. We packed the art bar with over 100 guests. It was a great event for everyone to come together and just showcase their talent. We have a lot of talent here in the Raleigh-Durham 919 area, but it's hidden. It's a closed door talent. So we gave people the platform and the stage to be able to express how they feel, whether it's domestic violence that you're witnessing and you want to spread the word about that, whether you're finding a connection with God and you want to express how you feel about that. Um, whether you just want to grace the stage and just provide lyrics and bars and just show people what you got and what you're made of. First and foremost, I want to say that I love working with the team. This is something new for me. As I told Corey, this is completely out of the realm of anything I've ever done. So, which is why, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's completely, uh, it's something that's new and foreign to me as far as uh, the work what I've done, especially with other folks. But it's great. I feel like I'm really putting my talents to use and I'm really um, putting my brain um, to work for aside from just going and, and getting a check and cashing it and everything like that. So. The next five years, um, honestly, I want us to take off. Like I want us to get to the point where North Carolina is not the only place where we doing our shows at. I want to get to the point where, you know, we have to quit our daytime job because we actually like got so much revenue coming in from Truth that we actually make that our, you know, job. There's a lot of talented people out here who just don't put it to use because they're either scared or they don't know how to. It's, it's good because we can honestly help them mold them into what they want to be if they allow us to. All right, so I'm calling all rappers, MCs, lyricists. I need you to be at the Art Bar Raleigh. January 28th, 2017, we have our Rap Cypher Challenge. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a Rep Your Cypher. It's going to be crew versus crew. Have between two to five groups. Going to battle against each other. Okay, so you, you might as well pull up. 6109 Madry Oaks Court. It's going to be super dope. Yeah, so bring your A game, your A plus game. We would like to get everyone involved. We have a cash prize. For the best crew, so bring yours. But it's only one prize, so if you really want it bad, you're going to have to show that you want it bad. January 28th. January 28th. January 28th. January 28th. January 28th, 2017. We got the biggest event in North Carolina, period. So guess what? You got bars? Let me hear it, because I can't hear you. Bring them out. Bring them out. 
This is for them go get us fighting to the top. Can't be hold down by sellers equivalent to niggas who grinding for a purpose. Me myself, I might make a couple purchases just to show these niggas I'm not the one they wanna fuck with. Drink an alcohol substance and I'ma shit on this beat. Not ready to be flushed yet. Oh, nigga, that's nasty. I want the cake and not the one that's with in the pantry. Niggas rate me as their master because I'm sending these niggas stick a fork in them because they finish up my minutes when it comes to my mental. Painting pictures, do you see the visual? Damn, I got a big ego and I told it everywhere that I go. <laughs> Everybody, this is Cordell, aka C Dell, and I'm locked in with TDC, Trooper the Crunkster, and I've been exposed. This is Noe, and you've been locked in with TDC, Trooper the Crunkster, and I've been exposed. Hi, my name is Quan. I'm locked in with TDC, Trooper the Crunkster, and I have just got exposed. It's your boy QC, and I'm locked in with TDC, Trooper the Crunkster, and I've been exposed. My name is Nina Gotti. I am locked in with TDC, Trooper the Crunkster. And guess what, y'all? I've been exposed. Showtime.